Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be going over my new Heavy Lifter version 2 Mark V. Uh, this came out of my Fuel Orbiter series that was basically designed to make fuel get it up into high orbit so that you can have fuel stations in the future. But I've decided just to christen them Heavy Lifters since that's pretty much what they do. But anyways, on to the actual product itself. The Heavy Lifter version 2 is a modified version of my previous series that is a whole heck of a lot more organized. Um, the previous series was kind of just a hodgepodge of uh, keeping on attaching boosters until things worked out correctly. Um, and this one I kind of knew what I needed and so I've just built on from there. So uh, to start off with, at the base here we have the launcher. Um, this is basically just to hold it upright um, for when it's on the pad. Unfortunately, due to the weight of this thing with a full load, which is uh, 70 Kerbal Tons up top there, um, it will break these five engines down here. And because I'm using aero spikes um, all over the place, I can't actually stand weight on those. So, in other words, I have to put this kind of like suit on the outside of it that uh, keeps it off the ground until it launches. Um, basically when the main stage ignites, which is every engine on this thing, it decouples and just flies up in the air. I put these little hard points on it so that it catches itself and doesn't fall over and explode, thus taking out your engines or your entire rocket. But anyways, that's why that is there. To move on to the actual rocket itself, we can take a look at it kind of from a top-down perspective. So I'm going to remove the top part of it, which is the load, and just take a look at the rocket itself. So as you can see, this is very, very symmetrical. Um, basically, I just use six symmetry for all the parts. And uh, if you take a look at it, well, pull one of the eyes off. Whoops. Ah, dang it. Pull one of these guys off. This is what the actual part looks like, the actual uh, per one six of it and I'll just attach it right here and we can take a look at it. So basically what happens is we have our main central shaft here and it consists of one aerospike engine, two fuel tanks, and advanced SAS and then the decoupler which has the escape rocket which is also used to deorbit the launch stage. Um, this will come into play later. Um, it also has two parachutes on it because since they're radially mounted uh, it has troubles landing safely. So that works out pretty well. But anyways, moving on, we have our first outer stage, which just consists of one tank, and uh, it's fed from all the previous stage or all the progressive stages. So uh, it actually lasts for a very long time. Um, I found this to be the most fuel efficient way, which is to load up more fuel on the outer stages that you drop and keep the stage that gets the highest up into the atmosphere the lightest you can possibly keep it. And so this works out pretty well. Um, the next one is a two and a half tanks stacked up. Um, I found that I needed that tank, that extra half tank on both this and the following ones to make it so it actually reached orbit. Um, but anyways, it's two and a half tanks, aerospike engine, fuel feeds into the previous stage. Attached to it is a delta wing with a, uh, what's it called, elevator piece. And then attached to it even more are two more identical stages of two and a half aerospike, no wings though. And these both fuel uh, feed their fuel into the center one as well. And so how this rocket kind of works off overall is that we more or less drain out these entire outer rockets by having basically only the fuel in these burn while all these other engines burn. And keep in mind there's six sets of this around it. So only these outer two are draining their fuel and then we release them in the next stage and they drop off and then we keep burning with our main stage which still has the wing on it for more stability. Um, considering how light these wings are and how much stability they provide I think they're worth it for their weight. Um, but anyways and then we keep on thrusting up. Once this stage burns out, we should be in very close to orbit. Um, the remaining of the rocket doesn't have much fuel at all. As you can see, we only have one fuel tank here. And these two um, fuel tanks are completely burned out because I don't feed them fuel into them because I don't want to uh, run out of my uh, gimbal engines, which are these guys right here. 
I don't want to run out of gimbal because that gives you a lot more control. You could probably make it more fuel efficient by feeding further into it, since the aerospike technically has greater fuel efficiency, but I don't like to. I like it as it works right now. And so, basically, once all the fuel's drained out, we disattach this final stage, and basically, we have six fuel tanks, more or less, worth of fuel to uh, get us into a circularized orbit. And uh, this works out quite well. You get to end up with about a third of the tank left if you do it right. And uh, overall, this rocket is really, really strong. Um, its balance has some issues. I think it's mainly due to the struts. Um, as you can see, they're not perfectly centered. And I think that causes a lot of problems with it. Um, but it stays pretty stable all the way up into the top. It does have a little bit of a roll that happens with it. Um, you can balance it out with the SAS, though. Um, I've only put advanced SAS on this to keep it light so that it's more fuel efficient. But you could put more SAS on it and stop it from spinning, most likely. But you can just kind of control it by hand, and the advanced SAS will stop the spin as long as it's on. And so, yeah. I'm going to upload a video of it in flight. I'm not going to bother to do a, my normal commentary on it because unlike all my other rockets, there's really nothing new to it and it's a, this actually flies much better than any of my other previous rockets. Almost all my other rockets have issues with uh, stability or they start rolling uncontrollably at one point or another. This is actually by far my uh, most efficient design and least strut design. This thing actually is launchable at 15 frames per second on my computer versus the normal, like, 5. Um, so yeah, here is the rocket. I'll reassemble it for everyone, if I can see it. Here it is in all of its glory. It's quite the piece. Um, flies great. Can put up an entire mass like this. Voila. Puts up a huge mass of uh, weight. This is 28 fuel tanks or 70 Kerbal tons. Um, you can also put one more fuel tank, not six, one I said, one more fuel tank in the center here, like that, and that actually increases the rocket's fuel efficiency that it gets to orbit as well as its th um, fuel to weight ratio that it gets to orbit but this is really hard to actually get into orbit if you put that extra one up there because you have to do everything perfect there's no uh, room for error whereas I said before this has about a third of a tank left in each of its six tanks um, which gives it plenty of room for error but uh, yeah this is my heavy lifter version 2 mark 5 hope you all enjoy and I'll attach the craft file below